Feeling drunk? <laughs> You're only supposed to take a couple of tablespoons. That's all right. The more I drink of this, the better I feel. <laughs> what sort of tonic is it? Ah, Highland malt. <laughs> Morning, lads. There's any tea? In the pot. Good. I'm dying for a drink. I hardly slept last night. Who was it you hardly slept with? <laughs> we're not... We're not all crumpet mad like you. I happened to, uh, spray my groin yesterday at the pictures. <laughs> How did you manage to spray your groin at the pictures? Well, I went to see The Return of the Jedi, and I got so carried away when I saw Princess Leia, I, uh, dropped my raspberry ripple. <clears throat> well, as I stood up to look for it, <laughs> I trod on it and slid so far down the aisle, I nearly ended up on Jabba the Hutt's knee. <laughs> uh, you probably pulled a muscle. Yeah, I could hardly move. I went to see Dr. Perry. That was a mistake. Why? Well, it wasn't him. Uh, was he up? No, he was ill. I mean, if your doctor can't stay healthy, what chance are the patients going? But didn't you see anyone? Yes, uh, I saw his partner. But what did he say? Uh, it was a she. <laughs> well, what did she say? She, uh said there was nothing wrong with my ear. <clears throat> your ear? I thought you went with your groin. Yeah, well, I'm not going to have some woman mess around with me down there. <laughs> she was a doctor. She's seen it all before. Not mine, she hasn't. Well, oh, no. Hello, Wilfred. How's your uh, little Terry, then, eh? Lucky he'll be alive after last night. Uh, did he have an accident? He would have done it if I'd have got my hands on him. Has he been a naughty boy again, eh? Oh, not half. First of all, he emptied the goldfish bowl into the washing machine and turned it on. Trouble is, it was on spin dry. <laughs> He's a lad, isn't he, eh? Oh, that's not all. That little devil climbed on the chair and turned the oven full on. Well, that's not so terrible. The cat was in it. <laughs> well, did it get burnt? Nah. But it slept all night. It's a gas oven. <laughs> Why don't you try putting him in a playpen? Sounds to me it'd be better if you shoved him in a straitjacket. Well, I think you're right. While we were watching telly, he crawled into the kitchen and managed to open the fridge. Before we found out, he'd eaten his way through a carton of cream, two chocolate mousses, uh, a chicken leg, and half a bottle of blackcurrant juice. Surprised he wasn't sick. He was. All over the wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're late, Billy. Yeah, yeah. I went too far on the bus. Ah. <laughs> what, uh, trying to score with a clippy, were you, eh? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I just missed my stop. I was reading my book. Oh, yes, another book, is it? Well, what is it this time? Life After Death. Oh, Enid Blyton, is it? <laughs> that should give us a good laugh in any case, shouldn't it? It's a load of old rubbish. Oh, no, it isn't. There you are, Billy. It's all, Wilf. Here, do you believe in life after death, then? Yes, of course I do, Wilfred. I mean, you've only got to look at Jock here, haven't you? Look at the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's speaking to me. Oh, yes, Jock. We are talking about dying. Oh, what colour? <laughs> Not that dying, Jock. Dying. Dying. <laughs> Snuffing it. <laughs> Snuffing what? How oh, ignore him. He's in a world of his own. <laughs> I wonder where you go when you die. You don't go anywhere. When you die, that's it, brother. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no. You either go up or down. <laughs> you make it sound like Selfridges. <laughs> Going up, halos and ups. Going down, shovels and pitchfork. <laughs> but he must go somewhere. Well, what do you reckon then, uh, Billy? What do you reckon? Where, where are you going to be going when you pop off? <clears throat> I should be coming back, Dave. <laughs> that so ridiculous. No, no, I will. I believe in reincarnation. I believe that when you die, you come back as something else. Oh, yeah, and, um... What have you come back as this time? <laughs> wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> well, we've all got to go sometime. Not me, Wilfred. <clears throat> Listen, Dave. You might think you're clever, but when the Great Reaper swings his side, it's no use you ducking, brother. Well, for your information, I happen to like it here, so I have made arrangements to stay. <laughs> you're not going in with this deep freeze game, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cryogenics. Yeah, oh, or even that. <laughs> now, no one's going to turn me into a human fish finger. <clears throat> Why are you going to do that? I'll tell you, i tell you, what do people usually die of? Shortage of breath. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Billy. Their ticker conks out or their kidneys or something like that. Well, what about it? Well, there's no need for it today. With all the modern transplant surgery, nowadays you can replace anything. Anything? <laughs> well, almost anything. I mean, if it wears out, you just whip it off and shove on a new one. <laughs> Here, I suppose you're going to the match tonight, are you? No. Well, it's uh, Chelsea and Arsenal, Dave, the milk cup. Up the gunners. Cobblers the gunners. Well, I'm surprised you're not going, Dave. 
Well, Billy, I might surprise you here, but they have this extraordinary system at Chelsea. It's called getting in with a ticket. I've got a ticket. Yeah, you would. <clears throat> oh, it's a pity you couldn't get down the ground this morning. What for? Well, they've got a thousand tickets left over. They're selling them off this morning. First come, first served. They're not. They are. Look, it's in the paper. Here, you couldn't do my round for me, Wilford, could you? Oh, no. I promise I'll take the white with the mother's. Ah, Billy? No, no. I've got to take my uncle to hospital. <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's not very well, Dave. <laughs> Jock? Dying. Don't <laughs> say Arsenal are the greatest. <laughs> Get knotted. <laughs> Suit yourself. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I wonder if it would be asking too much to remind you that you are here to work. <clears throat> well, you know, what they are Get that flaming wall, will you? Stan, what is it? Stan, uh, you know I never ask the time on. No, you better not start now. No, it's just that Chelsea are playing Arsenal. I don't care if they are playing Brazil. Well, it's the milk cup, boy, oh! <laughs> if I can get down there by 9 or 10 30, I can get a ticket for the match. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do with you, dear. Yes? You can go and get your football ticket. Oh, thanks, Dan. Provided you finish your round by 10 o'clock. <coughs> You're on. Mm. You'll never finish your round in time. It's impossible. Don't you bet on it. <laughs> <laughs> Then. If you ask me, I think it's done for you. Yeah, well, there can I go now? Are you sure you delivered all your milk? Every bottle, Stanley. Oh, all right, then off you go. Oh, thanks, Dan. Come on, you blow! <laughs> <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, well, he's happy enough. Yeah. Well, that's that finished. Here you are, Stan. Oh, good. All right. Oh, it's very good, Sharon, except for one thing. What's that? Well, why is the copy in the back of the letter, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, I must have put the carbon paper in the wrong way. Well, there. you really will have to concentrate a bit more, you know, Sharon. Oh, I've got a lot on my mind. Oh, yes? It's my boyfriend. Oh, I thought it might be. Who's at top of the pops at the moment? He's Randy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked who he was, not what he was. <laughs> His name, Randy. Oh, well, I'm sure it's very appropriate. Wants well, to take me away to Brighton for the weekend. Single bedrooms, I hope. Oh, no, he's already booked for double. Martha Tidbell. I, I, I see your problem, Sharon. Oh, that's not my problem. Oh, what is your problem? Oh, I ain't got nothing to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Up the blues. <laughs> Yes, sir. Excuse me, officer. Yes, sir. Is that the queue for tickets for tonight's milk cup? That's right, sir. Good. Think Chelsea are going to win tonight, sir? Well, I hope not. I'm an Arsenal supporter. I wouldn't broadcast it round here, sir. We don't want any trouble, do we, sir? No, all right, all right, all right. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Should be all right for a ticket now. Should be, yeah. Should be a good game. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty team, Arsenal. <laughs> Are they? Diabolical. Mind you, I blame the supporters. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of hooligans. Is that so? Mm. Without exception. Uh, here. Yeah. I happen to be an Arsenal supporter. Fun. Hooligans are we? No, 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 not all. We've had exception, ah! you see. Well, you happen to be the exception. Yeah, well, you're asking for knuckle sandwich, oh! my son. You oh, are. Oh, 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 oh. It's him, officer. He provoked me. All right, you. Get out of it. Out of it. No, but, but I'll lose my place in the queue. Oh. Should have thought about that before you started behaving like a hooligan. Now, come on, move. No, 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 no. Look, officer, I've, uh, I've uh, been supporting Chelsea ever since I was a lad. Over 20 years, I've seen practically every game they've ever played. Now, you are a reasonable man. I'm sure you can turn a blind eye and let me take my place back in the queue so I can get a ticket. 
Well, as you say, sir, I am a reasonable man. And I appreciate that you're a very loyal supporter. So, in view of the fact that you've supported Chelsea over the last 20 years... Oh, thank you, officer. I'm sure they won't mind missing you for one match. Yeah, I can't... <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, right, sir. Yeah, but honestly, I've got... <laughs> Sharon? Yeah. And what are you doing? I'm trying to improve my bus size. <laughs> if you improve it anymore, you'll fall over. <laughs> you haven't got a morning paper, I suppose? Nah. Oh, pity. I like to read with my sandwich. Got a magazine, if you like. Now, what would I do with a woman's magazine? Oh, there's some very interesting articles in here. Uh, Problems of an unmarried mother, how to improve your sex appeal and coping with a menopause. Oh, there you go. Don't want to read it. No, it's all right. I read the letter page. That's always good for a laugh. Ah, here it is. Penelope's postbag. <clears throat> Dear Penelope, I am 17 and a few weeks ago I met this gorgeous man. Ah. Oh, do you want a bite of my sandwich? Oh, no, no. I'm going to die it. Thanks. He is older than me, so I told him I was 19. We met in a nightclub, and he is really the dishiest man I have ever met, and I am crazy about him. Recently, I found out that he has just come out of prison and that he is married with four children. My problem is this. Should I tell him I lied about my age? <laughs> Worried blue eyes. <laughs> oh, poor thing. You men are all the same. Oh, no, not all of us. Oh, yes, you are. Out for what you can get. I remember the first time I fell in love. We were both 13. Ponta Duras. We only went out once and he got me into trouble. <laughs> he copied his own work and the teacher found out. Is that all? No. Got it all wrong. <laughs> oh, I'll serve you right. Oh, look, listen to this letter. Dear Penelope, uh, what can I do for blackheads? Answer, paint them white. <laughs> That. Oh, I made it up. There oh, you are. <laughs> Mind you, I don't believe half these letters. I think Penelope makes them up, you know. Oh, yes, you're probably right there. Here, listen to this one. Dear Penelope, I have been married for over 20 years. Our children are now grown up. Our daughter is married and lives in Australia. And our son is a mining engineer in the Middle East. My marriage seems to have gone stale. All my husband does when he comes home is fall asleep in front of the television. What can I do to bring some romance back into my life? Ponta, please. What's the matter? Well, that's one Penelope didn't make up. How do you know? It's the wife. <laughs> no, Dave, did you tick it? No. <clears throat> no? That's what I said, isn't it? Hello? No? No, oh, hard luck, Dave. Ah, oh, it's a shame. Oh, you really want to go, huh? Of course I really want to go. Well, Clive. A friend of mine at the Caribbean club was trying to get rid of two spare tickets yesterday. What? He was? Uh-huh. Oh, can you get in touch with him? Mm, I could. Well, come on, ring him up. I want you to say something to me first. All right, Joseph, all right, Joseph, please ring him up. Oh, not that. I would like to hear you say, Arsenal are magic, Chelsea are tragic. He <laughs> <laughs> said... He wants you to say Arsenal magic, Chelsea is tragic. <laughs> Thank you very much, Billy. Thanks. I can't say that. Huh? Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a great game tonight. All right. All right. They are. Who are what? <laughs> well, Chelsea and Arsenal are what you said. <laughs> <laughs> that won't do, Dave. I want to hear you say it. Arsenal say try it. I didn't hear that. Can you say it a little bit louder? Arsenal thing is what he's trying to. I still can't hear you. Arsenal are magic, Chelsea are tragic. Oh, beautiful. Now, will you phone your friend Clyde up? No. I just wanted to hear you say it. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't do any good. Clyde got rid of the tickets last night. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh what a morning I've had. Oh, see that shopping precinct murder. What are you talking about? It's more dangerous now than when it was a road. Don't be stupid, Jock. It must be less dangerous without any traffic. Well, you want to try it? 
I've been run into by women with overloaded supermarket trolleys, kids in roller skates, wee wains and prams. No to measure being poked right up the backside with an umbrella. <laughs> <sighs> I had to get into the king's arms to recover. <laughs> Any excuse, right, eh? The landlord gave me a ticket for a night's game. <laughs> Give me a cut match. Aye. I don't believe it. Ah, I'm no good. <laughs> you not? Ah. <laughs> I, I don't like English football. But hang on, hang on. Does this mean you're not going to use the ticket? No. Oh, I could kiss you, Jock. I <laughs> well, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> how much how much do you want for it, eh? For what? You just said the landlord of the King's Arms gave you for the ticket for the match tonight. Oh, aye, aye, but I gave it to Harry. Harry. The barman at the Red Lion. Oh, the Red Lion, right. Excuse <laughs> 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 me. Oh, oh where are you clumsy Oh, it's you, is it? Oh, I'm sorry, uh... Yeah, well, that'll cost you another pint, won't it, eh? Well, you only spilled a little drop. I hey! beg your pardon, son. Oh, another pint for the uh, g -g gentleman, please, Harold. You right, Dave? 80p, please. 80p, right. Uh, that ticket, Harry. Ticket? Yeah, the, the, the ticket for the match. Pardon? Match! No, but I've got a lighter in my pocket. No, 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 no. <laughs> the ticket for the match that Jock gave you. Oh, why didn't you say so, then? There you are, Dave, then. One pint. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Cool, brother. I need that. Here. Yeah, that's mine. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I only had a little sip. Oh, well, that. I'll cost you another pint. Another son. pint. Another pint. Yeah. Another pint for the uh, gentleman, please. Oh dear. oh, dear. Well, the ticket? Yes. What are you going? Where? To the match. Do me a favour, though. Can I go to the match? I've got to look after the pub. Well, I'll buy it off you. You can't do that. Why not? It belongs to the brewery. <laughs> The flaming pub, the ticket for the match. Oh, oh. Hey, if only you come in here five minutes earlier. What? I've got rid of it. Well, who too? I thought it's your friend over there. Yeah. ATP. Just my luck. Oh. Sorry, Dave. I suppose if I asked him nicely, he wouldn't sell it to me, do you think? I wouldn't bet on it, Dave. Hang on, I would. Watch this. <clears throat> Excuse me, can I just borrow this card? I'll give it back to you in one. <laughs> <clears throat> Out the gunners! Oh! <laughs> Are you in a temperance society or something? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Another pint, another pint for the gentleman, please. Oh, Harold. <laughs> 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 Great team, Arsenal, eh? Yeah. I thought you were a Chelsea supporter. Oh, well, I was, I was only pretending the other morning. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't want to cause any yeah. trouble. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Made out two pints, please, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've been a uh, support of the Gunners for years, I have, yeah. yeah. What about the 1979 Cup Final? Did you see <laughs> that? Did I see, did I see? You asked me whether I saw it? I wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, I <laughs> couldn't believe it, you know. I couldn't believe it when United scored twice in two mm, minutes. Yeah. Nor could I, nor could I. You know, do you know we should have won that game? Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? We did win it. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Of course we did. Yeah. Of course we did. Yeah. Great game, eh? There we are, Dave. Yeah. One pound sixty, One please. One pound nice. sixty, there we are. One pound sixty. Cheers. Mm -hmm. We've had some great players, you know, haven't we? Eh? Oh, fantastic, yeah. Lad, you don't want to spend another 80p, do you? Oh, no, of course. No. They're all yours, aren't they? Right, <laughs> <laughs> what about George, isn't he? What about George? What about George? Superstar Georgie Watson. Fantastic. Charlie? Yeah, Georgie Charlie. Charlie George! <laughs> oh, yeah, Charlie George Burke. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I get things front to back. You know, I'm... Uh, I'm Lex Dixick. Yeah. <laughs> did you, uh, yeah, didn't you uh, get a ticket this morning then? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's uh, it's just that Harry told me he just sold you one. That's right, he did. Yeah. It's my brother in law, innit? Oh, for your brother in law? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a laugh. I don't suppose you'd. Uh, I don't suppose you'd sell it to me, would you? All <laughs> <laughs> well, right, is enough. You yeah. must be joking, son. Well, after all, I, after all, I am a keen Arsenal supporter. Well, I? I suppose you are. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a possibility. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll pay you what you pay for it. You'll pay me double, son. I'll pay you double, son. I'll pay you double, son. All right, yes. All right, Mark. I'm not all that keen on my brother-in-law. Yeah, hi, dear. Yeah, what are you doing wearing an Arsenal ah, now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you know me, you know me, Joseph. I'm a keen Arsenal supporter. Come on, the Gunners! <laughs> what are you winking at me for? I'm not, I'm not winking, I'm not, I'm not winking. It's, uh, I've just got a little bit of dirt in my eye, Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. 
I don't understand. Ten minutes ago, you were a Chelsea supporter. No, you were! Hey, there, Dave. That fellow wants his scarf back. Hey! Give me the ticket. Give me the ticket. The ticket? No way, son. Now, Paul! Sorry, hard Hey, cheer up, Dave. I've got some good news for you. What, you emigrating? I rang my friend Clyde. Yeah? And he just happened to have one of those spare tickets left. It's yours for five. Oh, I don't believe it, Dodas. I love you. Come on, you blues! Sorry about the delay, Joseph. Had to get himself a cup of tea. <laughs> oh. Come on, you blue. Oh, God. What do you think, eh? You look as if you've lasted two seconds with Frank Bruno. <laughs> oh, there we go. Five pounds. Give me my ticket. Come on, Joseph. Give me the ticket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, eh? Stand A, row B, seat 28. Oh, marvellous. It's more marvellous than you think. Oh, what do you mean? I'm in seat 29. Oh, I, need a, I need to be some fly in the ointment. But that's gratitude for you. You see that fellow over there? Yeah. He's plugging these five quid tickets for ten pounds. Do you know, that's disgraceful. That sort of thing should be stamped out. Do you know, I think all tickets out should be sent to prison. Hey, you got, got any spare tickets? Sorry, mate. I'll, I'll pay do... over the odds. Listen, mate, I am a true blue. You think I'll give up my chance of seeing Chelsea just to make a couple of quid? Give you 20 quid. Done. Thanks. <laughs> I don't understand you. After all the trouble you went through to get a ticket, I thought you wanted to see this match. I do, Joseph, I do, and I will. Watch and learn. Thank you very much. There we go, Joseph. One ticket. And on top of that, I have made 10 quid profit. And on top of that, I don't have to sit next to you. <laughs> Go on, you two. Oh, oh. Ah, evening all. Oh, uh, it's you, is it, sir? Yeah. Gonna be a good little boy tonight, aren't you? Ah, you know me, I always am. One win for three cheeseburger, two cheese... Oh! Watch it. <laughs> Just my little joke. Very little, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing personal, Jones, if I refresh you. Good evening, Paul. You live in Hawk. I live in Rice. Right, right. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is Jack. No, it isn't. I've stopped it. Oh, well, uh, unstop it, then, can you? You can't come in here with this ticket. Oh, why not? Is it the uh, wrong entrance? It's the wrong ticket, eh? It's last week. Oh, no, there must be some mistake, because... <laughs> hey! Oh, 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 I thought you were a troublemaker. They don't understand how to don't worry, sir. You can watch it later tonight on television. Oh, thank God for that. At the station. Oh, no, you don't see that. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. 